Mr. President, Mahlong a hao ba ituti ba na haena asebatu. Midi riti zaruna hadibu shokwa ho hang. Bokamo sababa tuwa ba chabu buti eting na haena hupota fela hao leto le rinti ke huwe. Kato ata hao hao ya urilibi le dipaka huru ware nyata ibile bushuko babu fuma. Lo shoka munyeta habore leto huwe na. Haile hantle as me ji would put it war andamaina. See, the stealing of Nisfas and DHEAD money is actually the stealing of money meant to fund poor students who without state funding will not be able to study. The victims of Minister Nzimande, Dr. Koza, their criminal syndicates and I'm your ANC member, government... Sorry. See, the victims of Minister Nzimande, Dr. Koza, the criminal syndicate and your ANC government, Mr. President, are the millions of South African students who have been locked out of doors to tertiary education. The minister has the audacity and arrogance to tell this house and the country that this does not qualify a crisis, yet it is. Mr. President, we have nearly three and a half million young people aged 15 to 24 years who are not in employment, education, or training, and therefore find themselves in a state of desperation and hopelessness, with some left with no hope but to turn to acts of crime, prostitution, and substance abuse for survival. These are the consequences of the corruption, greed, and maladministration happening within NISPAS, DHET, and the peace sector right under your nose. See, the disgusting and shameless milking of public funds by ANC cadres and Minister Nzimande have left the state bankrupt, resulting in a billion rands less funding available for students. This translates to 87,000 less students eligible for funding. This is in addition to the over 20,000 students who were defunded in the previous financial year, who today are hopelessly sleeping in the streets, in kitchen floors. Mr. President, students are currently hopelessly sleeping in streets, on kitchen floors, and lecture halls across campuses, unable to register for this academic year. Students have been left hungry, homeless, financially and academic ex academically excluded with appeals running from January to December, and some are facing critical mental health issues as a result of these challenges. And as if this is not enough, they now have tuition and accommodation debt that they must settle before they register this month. And so it is not true when Minister Nzimande says that students can register irrespective of these debts because they cannot. Stu institutions are saying they can't. So where must these concessions money that institutions are supposed to make come from? Where must students have the money to settle these debts before registrations? And see, your appointment of Minister Nzimande, your refusal to fire him, your protection of corrupt cadres, not only make you a political accomplice and enabler of the acts of crime, but they make you a cruel man. Because you should have an appreciation for what it means for poor students with their families only shot out of poverty to get funding for tertiary education. The ANC and its alliance is an organization of vultures feasting on the poor. All, however, is not lost. There is hope for young people, students, and South Africa. And the solution right now for the cries of students is firing Minister Nzimande with immediate effect. Mr. President, you have a clear choice to make between, the, to, to make between championing the best interests of students and the future of South Africa and championing the interests of a syndicate of corrupt politicians and their cronies. And I say, choose the students, choose the future of of South Africa. So what do these solutions look like? They start with a skills audit of all employees in the sector and the replacement of unqualified cadres with qualified non-politically appointed employees. 
It includes the investigation and prosecution of all acts of corruption and fraud within the sector, reforming NISPAS and creating a sustainable funding environment in partnership with the private sector, decentralizing the administrative function of NISPAS to institutions of higher learning, scraping the blanket accommodation cap, a free market regulated by the Competition Commission, for private student accommodation providers and public-private partnership for student accommodation. These are our solutions in the right step and they will take us out of the confusion and shambles currently plaguing NISPAS. So I urge each and every young South African to visit check.da.org.za and register to rescue South Africa.